What was a rescue mission in the Grand River near Orangeville, Ontario, is now a recovery operation. Police are looking for the body of a three-year-old boy who was swept away by high water. They say the child slipped out of his mother's arms as they escaped from their submerged van early yesterday. Rescuers searched throughout the day but stopped last night when it just became too dark. Today at dawn, recovery efforts began. Unseasonably warm temperatures have caused major flooding in parts of southwestern Ontario. The city of Brantford is still under a state of emergency. Now, officials held a news conference in Brantford just moments ago. CBC's Linda Ward is there. She's keeping up on this story. Now, we just learned, Linda, the next 24 hours are critical with those flows remaining high all day. What more did officials tell you in that briefing? Well, Suhana, officials really stressing that this is a very dynamic situation. They say they are in response mode. It's unpredictable and high risk. And they did give us a picture of just what this flooding entailed for this city. They're saying the Grand River at its highest reached 6.99 meters. Uh, at this morning at 6 a.m., 6.03 meters. But it is now also climbing. Just to give you a sense of how high that is, in the summer, this river runs at about 0 0.2 meters. So we are looking at nearly 7 meters above a normal level levels on this river. Uh, the evacuation order still in effect. There had been talk that it might be lifted at around uh, noon today, but they're saying as it is still dynamic, they're not exactly sure what's going to happen. Uh, they need to be able to assess safety uh, in the homes, in the surrounding areas around these homes before they can lift that. So they'll be doing an, ass an assessment. Actually, right now they're going to be doing the assessment, but we won't get the results of that assessment until a little bit later. Now, uh, uh, Mayor Chris Friel, who was speaking during this uh, news conference, really couldn't stress enough just how much he wants people to stay back away from this uh, unpredictable situation, away from open water. Take a listen to the message that he sent out today. I also want to emphasize at that, this point, stay away from the river. Stay away from the evacuated areas. If a road is closed, do not move the pylon to go down and take pictures. This is not a family event. And I was shocked at the number of vehicles that were pulling up when I was down on Grand River Ave with families coming out, young children, to come up to the river to take a look at this. This is a dangerous situation. People need to use basic common sense here and something that we saw as well this morning going through those evacuated zones are people that aren't leaving their homes. Well, they say that in the coming uh, hours and days, they're going to be reaching out to these people to see what, if they, if anything, they need. Because, of course, uh, there's about a 1,000 people who have had their power shut off. The weather is getting colder. There are evacuation centres open, and they say that there were about 50 people in this area that used those evacuation centres overnight, Suhana. And look ahead for me, Linda. What are officials expecting? overnight and also what are they expecting for surrounding areas? Yeah, so uh, they said, uh, as I mentioned, that the, the water level is now pretty stable. It is, uh, It has been going back up, but they do expect it to stay pretty stable uh, and descend into tomorrow. But they warn these ice jams are really dynamic. The risk is that the ice jam could move and then block uh, the passages and back up the water again. So they really don't know exactly what this ice is going to do. And we saw some of that ice this morning, just amazing. Now, there was concern that uh, this water uh, could go, these ice jams could move uh, downstream into uh, the Six Nations area, Cayuga area, but they say uh, now that that uh, uh, risk has uh, diminished because the ice has broken up, so there's not as big of a risk of an ice jam happening there. So that, uh, they say, encouraging news for residents. They are actually bringing in ice experts into the area tomorrow to figure out just how they can stop something like this from happening again because this is something that nobody in this area has really seen to this extent really ever.